Tom Suter. Coverage you can count on. 39 years ago, today, as David told me, not this week, today, man first set foot on the moon. Tonight, our Tar Heel Traveler profiles an engineer who contributed to that historic mission and who now operates a historic grist mill. We find Scott Mason in the small town of Bakersville in the mountains of Mitchell County. You tend to travel back in time when you come to Mitchell County. Get away from it all, all this open space. Maybe that's why Jack Dellinger has a home here, because of the lure of space and time gone by. Time goes round, flows, but then sometimes time stops. This is the only grist mill of its kind left in the state of North Carolina. Jack Dellinger's great-grandfather built the mill in 1859. His granddad and dad worked it too. All of them probably just had fourth grade education. They were much better engineers than I could ever hope to be. Even as a boy, Jack was in awe of the mill. The intricate engineering of steering water to the wheel and grinding cornmeal. This contraption has been grinding corn for 147 years. You develop kind of a mechanical aptitude, I guess. That mechanical aptitude helped inspire young Jack. Fifty years ago, he went to work for IBM, work that in 1969 helped put man on the moon. We develop a software to send the Apollo astronauts to the moon. The Apollo astronauts, Jack met them all. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins. July 21st, 1969. That's one small step for man. Probably the proudest moment of my life. And all is still gone. Jack has retired, returned to the mill, which he's restored, and the cornmeal and grits he grinds. People around here are fed over it. They think it's the best cornmeal they ever had in their life. Jack's life has circled around. And in a way, I feel like I'm back in the 19th century. This is the most peaceful place in the world. The most peaceful on earth. Dellinger worked on the space program with IBM for 17 years in Huntsville, Alabama, then moved to the Raleigh area. He now splits his time between the mill in Mitchell County and his home in Florida.